Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. This is a quick introduction into Adult Flow, which at a very high level in simple words is a framework or tool to make sure that you are doing the prompting right. What it does is it tries to optimize your LLM task pipeline, which means that if you want a large language model to perform a task, which could be a task of simple inference where you are asking a question from LLM, it will optimize your prompt and try to get the optimal response from the LLM. Or if you are trying to do the RAG or Retrieval Augmented Generation, Adult Flow will try to optimize your RAG queries. If you are doing classification, it, it is uh, going to try to optimize your classification queries and that sort of stuff. So it is sort of a uh, framework which sits in your AI powered application pipeline and then tries to optimize your prompts. Now in this video I'm going to show you how you can work it out with your task pipeline so we are going to see how to install it and then we will see it in action. We will be using Google Colab and um, we will be using OpenAI's model plus we will be using Grok's model the Llama 3.1 so you would need to get an API key from both of them. You can get a free key from of course Grok going to their website but for OpenAI you would need a paid account unfortunately so make sure that you have it. Now before I show you how you can do that there is one example which I really like uh, from Adult Flow is that they say that LLMs are like water and Adult Flow help developer quickly shape them into any application from generative AI applications such as chatbots, translation, summarization, code generation, drag and autonomous agents to classical NLP tasks like text classification and named entity recognition. So what it means is that LLMs are just tools. They are generic. They are there. It is up to you that whether you want to use them for inference, for uh, classification, for named entity recognition, for agentic application or whatever. And then this Adult Flow will try to optimize that interaction of your application <clears throat> with LLM. So that is what it does at the very high level. One feedback um, and it is coming from a good place. I think they need to uh, rewrite their documentation to make it more simpler because when you go through their github repo or even from their website it is slightly um, hard to understand as what exactly this adult flow does anyway now we know at a high level what it does let me show you an example in a notebook and then we will see how it works and i will be using google colab uh, you can change the runtime to t4 gpu for free but you don't have to because we'll be using the OpenAI and Grox models. Okay, now first step, let's get this thing installed. And by the way, you can install it on your local system if you like. I'm just going to use this uh, Google Call app to make things easier. So first up, I'm installing Adult Flow with OpenAI, Grok and Fire CPU. Let's wait for it to come back. It is going to take slightly bit of a time. I think I needed to put the exclamation sign here, but anyway, okay, that is good. It worked nice. So Adult Flow is installed and let me see what is the version of Adult Flow. Should be 0.20. That is correct. That is the latest one. Next up, let's set our keys. So this is where I'm going to set my OpenAI's key and this is where I'm going to set my Crocs API key. So let me um, set them and then we will proceed further and you can see that the keys have been set now let me define a pipeline and then I will explain what is happening in it now first let me try to explain what exactly Adult Flow is doing in this piece of code first remember that we have something called as component in the Adult Flow pipeline now in the adult flow library what it does is that it has a component and component is to llm task pipeline what module is to pytorch models in this code we are defining a pipeline 
for LLM and an LLM task pipeline in Adult Flow mainly consists of a component such as a prompt or model client or generator or retriever agent or any other custom component depends upon your use case. This pipeline can be sequential or it could be DAG which is direct acyclical graph but let's not go into that one. Now for example the component is a prompt. A prompt will work with data class to ease data interaction with LLM models. If it is a retriever, a retriever is going to work with databases to retrieve context and overcome the hallucination and knowledge limitations of LLM. And it is primar primarily related to RAG. If you are using component as an agent, an agent will work with tools and an LLM planner for enhanced ability to reason plan and act on real world tasks, which whatever agent do. What shines in Adult Flow is that all orchestrator components like retriever, generator, agent, they are model agnostic. You can easily make each component work with different models from different providers by switching out the model client and its model parameters. So here you see we are just putting a decorator on top of this which primarily changes the behavior of this function without actually modifying it and then this is just a simple function which is doing some integer parsing and then this is where we are giving it a few short template where we are giving some of the examples and this is a class where I was referring to where you have system prompt we have few short demos this is the LLM counter because it will be checking multiple LLMs and this is where it is calling now this is a very simple sort of task pipeline where it is doing an inference where we are telling it to do this reasoning question so it is sort of a component of prompt and of course if you are using rag you can go accordingly so let me run it here to check it so it is all defined all done now what we have done here is we have again we have created a task pipeline which consists of a generator with a customized template and a customized output parser now that said and done in the next step we you can run this pipeline in both train and eval mode so let's try to do in the train mode i think that is going to be uh, better let me show you how you can do it with multiple models and that is where it shines and let me show you how now in this code and don't worry about the code i'm going to give you the link to this uh, notebook from adult flow so i'm importing this this is where we have defined GPT-3 model with all the hyperparameters, Lama 3.1 model, this is from the Grok, all hosted models, and then this is our GPT-40 model. And then I, we are asking it a question that I have a flute, piano, trombone, four stuffs, and all this stuff. How many musical instru instrument do I have? And then, and you see, this is where our uh, net integer function is coming handy. So let me run it let's wait for it to come back there you go so you can ignore this warning this is our pipeline which it has defined some of the few shots prompt and then it has just created a <clears throat> generator out of it now if you want to get the answer you can do something like from your pipeline you we are triggering our pipeline with the question and then it is going to give the answer there you go so if you this is the raw response it has gone at right as per our few short prompt example and given us how many instruments we have how good is that and then total answer amazing stuff so it has optimized your prompt component here so similarly you can do it with the data sets you can do it with your rag components and whatever your task pipeline is you can simply embed adult flow in it they have various other examples on their github repo uh, if you're interested have a look and it never hurts to optimize your task pipeline with llm a little bit more so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching